Okay, so today I'm going to bring to you five of my most favorite neighborhoods. Super unique, incredible views. My most favorite subdivision. It's beautiful over there. D Magazine put out the top 10 neighborhoods to live in in Dallas a couple of years ago, and I've picked five of them because I really wanna show you five really cool, fun neighborhoods to live in in Dallas, and we're gonna start now. So there's no place quite like Highland Park. I have highlighted it in several videos. I am actually walking down Armstrong, one of the most prestigious streets in Highland Park. It's stunning. But I'm gonna tell you a little bit of background on Highland Park because it's kind of fun. It was actually named Highland Park because when it was originally established, it was on a, it's on a higher part of Dallas and it overlooked the downtown Dallas area. The architecture and trees here alone are beautiful. There is all kinds of types of houses. You can get traditional Spanish eclectic, Tudor, Art Deco, modern. I mean, there's so many different houses out here that are possibilities that can fit your specific design taste. Wilbur Cook is actually the person they hired to design Highland Park. He also designed Beverly Hills. Back in 1906, uh, he did Highland Park, and that's why it has all of its beauty now. And when they originally established Highland Park, they actually set aside 20% of the natural land for all the parks. A couple of things that I think you guys need to know about Highland Park is it's actually not Dallas, it's Highland Park. Back in 1913, Highland Park petitioned Dallas to be annexed into Dallas. Oddly enough, Dallas said no. So Highland Park then established its own city. They have one of the most prestigious school districts in the nation. They incorporated University Park into the school system to bring in more money to fund all of the schools. But back to the annexation and the story with Dallas, about the 500 residents decided to make Highland Park. And then later, Dallas asked Highland Park to absorb itself into Dallas and Highland Park said no. And so it started this huge 30 year legal battle and Highland Park won, so they are still their own city. Highland Park ISD ranks 30th in the nation for athletics, that's out of 10,000 ISDs, so that's pretty insane. They also rank number nine out of over a thousand ISDs in the state of Texas. It's not a huge district. They've got five elementaries, one intermediate, one middle, and one high school. So what's cool about it is everybody kind of knows everyone, and so there's lots of friends and family. They create stellar athletes. There are several NFL players and just people in general that have gone on to um, elite sports. And the average SAT score for Highland Park is 1330. So if that tells you anything about getting a great education. So the population in Highland Park is about 9,000. And this is luxury living because the median home price here right now is 4.5 million. So you can definitely see how it would be luxury living. But you have to take into account the average household income in Highland Park is like 235 to 250,000 a year, which is way higher than the national average. There's also Highland Park Village that offers great shopping. It's not unheard of to run into the likes of Troy Aikman at Mikosina at Highland Park Village but it's got all the high-end shopping, Fendi, Tory Burch, all of the Gucci's, all the Gucci's, there's only one, but you know what I mean, all the fancy brands, Valentino, Ralph Lauren, they're all there at Highland Park Village. So there's about 3,500 homes in Highland Park. I'm gonna show you a couple. I'm gonna start with one that's the least priced and it's in the 800,000s, it's a two bedroom, all the way up to a $15 million home, which is right behind us. So let's start with that. We've got $15 million home right behind us. It's a brand new construction. It's stunning on the inside. Six bedrooms, nine baths, and almost 11,000 square feet. That is a large house. It's got tons of natural light. It's got all the things you would want in a house. It's got its own private spa off the master bath that you can access through the master bath. The pantry has a prep kitchen, which is called a dirty kitchen, so that you can prep all in there and leave your kitchen, the main kitchen, nice and clean for your guests to see. It's also got a sauna and a five-car garage, but it's beautiful. Hey guys. Text me, my phone number's below. I'll get all your questions answered. And subscribe.
not have heard of Beckley Club Estates. I have never highlighted it before, and it's like this jewel of a place. If It's in South Dallas. If you go straight down Beckley Avenue past the zoo, you're gonna come to just a very charming, almost magical, tiny little subdivision that is reminiscent of Northern California, where you have quick little turns and little streets and up and down and around and the houses are charming. You know what the coolest thing about this place is? Is peacocks are everywhere. They're just walking as if they're birds that are normal out in the environment. And so it's a fun little magical place. A house just sold here a couple of months ago, under 400,000. A lot of them are being bought and renovated if they're not already renovated, but it's just something I haven't highlighted that I'm excited about. So let me show you around. So we've got all kinds of different little houses. Some are Spanish eclectic, some are Tudor style. They've got really cool landscaping, azaleas and trees that have just been here for decades. Decades. It's such a unique neighborhood. You've got 100 year old bungalows. And if you don't want cookie cutter, then this is definitely the place for you because a lot of the newer master plan communities can really get cookie cutterish, and that is something that bothers me. So I love little fun neighborhoods like this. Like I could just spin you around and let you see this little area. And you can see over my shoulder back there is one of the bridges. So way back in the day, decades ago, when they first built this subdivision, there were only about 60 houses and they actually dammed Cedar Creek, the Cedar Creek River. And so it sat kind of up high overlooking that water. And because of just safety, they actually dynamited that dam and let it free flow. But the remaining neighborhood is super cute. They actually redid some of those bridges and brought them up to code, I guess, for you to drive over. But they're, it's super cute and charming. And I just wanted to give you guys a little peek. So now I want to show you guys Glen Abbey and it's a smaller but super exclusive gated and guarded communities. So gated and guarded that I am actually just going to show you pictures and some videos that we captured. But it actually began being developed in the early 2000s and it was actually once the estate of Clint Murchison Sr who was a Texas oil man and he was actually the father of Dallas Cowboys founder Clint Murchison Jr. There's lots of things that have gone on in the community. The most famous current resident is former Dallas Cowboy quarter quarterback Tony Romo and he's actually built a massive property on a three acre lot and it's stunning. The neighborhood's also super unique due to the incredible views of the creek and a 10 acre nature preserve. It kind of has a bit of a hill country feel, which is really nice to have. It's bordered by Bent Tree Country Club, Preston Trail Golf Club, and White Rock Creek, which is just beautiful. There are houses that available in there for under 2 million, but they're gonna be on pretty much zero lot lines so very little property but they go all the way up to eight million on sprawling estates if you want a lot of ground around your house so right now there's two incredibly beautiful homes for sale in Glen Abbey one's at two million and one's at four million so I'm going to show you the smaller of the two and it'll just allow you to kind of see what's there it's three bedroom three and a half bath almost 3,600 square feet, and it's listed at the filming of this video for 2.1 million. Okay, now we're here at Melshire Estates, and this is a little bit of an older subdivision, but it's got a really good mix of houses that need to be renovated, so you might get them at a better price, all the way up to brand new builds and modern homes. So this one is newer. This one back here is newer. This one right behind me is actually for sale right now. And it's three bedroom, three and a half bath, a little over 3,300 square feet. And it's right at 1.3 million. So you can tell what the prices are that these houses are going for. And the subdivision was founded in 1950. There are 496 lots and there are several that are for sale right now. I think there's six and they're anywhere from 600 all the way up to almost 2 million. 
So the ones on the lower price end are gonna be the ones that you can buy and renovate and probably make some really good money off of. And then the others are brand new construction. They're actually building one right behind me. I just wanted to show you what all is in this specific neighborhood and the different price point. This is zoned to Dallas ISD. If you prefer private school, there's Jesuit, St. Rita Catholic School, and Dallas International School, and a few others that are private schools here that are close by that you could send your kiddos to. So the Caro is actually my most favorite subdivision in probably all of Dallas Fort Worth, but it's because it's uber, uber expensive and the homes are just unbelievable. It's gated and guarded. In fact, it's not just gated and guarded. It's like a freaking compound. It's really hard to get in. I had to go in with a friend that lived there because even just realtors can't go in. It's a very highly security oriented and that's because there are politicians that live in there. There are celebrities. I know the Jonas Brothers live in there. Glenn Beck lives in there. A bunch of really well-known people live in Vaquero. It's extremely unique. It sits on its own Vaquero Golf Club, and the golf club is studying. It's very, very special just because of the unique housing, the architectural design. It's got everything in there that you could think of. I know some of the homes in the neighborhood come with a membership to the Vaquero Club and some do not, so you need to find out. Um, those memberships are expensive, but they go along with the price tag of the home. So it shouldn't be a problem. If you can afford to live in there, you can definitely afford the price tag of the golf membership. It is super exclusive and super expensive, but it's one of the premier golf clubs around and they have a lot of amenities. They have amazing things for kids and kids club. They have pickleball. They have the golf course, which is amazing. And there's PGA pros that play on it. They have shopping. They have an amazing restaurant, a full spa and a resort style pool. So it's beautiful over there. You're going to range anywhere from 2 million to 9 million. Um, there's about 298 lots and about 19 of them are vacant. So Depending on who owns that lot, you might be able to get one and build or just find one that's already on the market because they have some stunning homes available. You can reach out to me and I can get you a list of those homes and show them to you. It's it, You'd be amazed. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you loved all five of these neighborhoods as much as I do. If you have any questions, feel free to text, call me. I respond immediately and I can help get all of your questions answered. Until the next video, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.